How are you doing, Brian King, UK Floyd TV? Uh, today we're at the Fitter Training Centre over in Loughborough. Uh, I'm joined by Ian James, former president of the NRCF, uh, compert of Carpet Fitter of the Year. Ian, how's it going? Good, Brian. Good, Brian. Cheers. Ian, we've had another successful year at Carpet Fitter of the Year finals. How do you think it went? It was a very successful year, Brian. Um, it was great to see. Um, see John win obviously John Wright, John Wright won yeah and, and but having said that you know the effort made by all six of those finalists was fantastic I think the standard went up a gear this year certainly went up a notch why did you change the base Ian? we changed the base because all the time we're trying to make it both interesting but very technical and to um, people watching they probably didn't think those bays looked very technical but if you were fitting on them they were very technical indeed. Did you get many uh, applicants this year? Yeah the, the rate of applicants um, seems to go up every year and we've had we obviously do the pre-registration scheme we've had uh, a load of those in already but of course it doesn't officially open until January so uh, so that will be when the main people apply. Did you get more applicants this year than last year? We did yes yeah it's the same it goes up every year I think people come along have a look see what it's all about and then uh, go I'll have a go at that. What interest have you had this year? Really good interest and I think a lot of that is probably due to yourself thanks to you for that because you did all the the live feed coverage which was a new thing that's not been done before and um, a lot of comments on it a lot of people logged in I know there were thousands thousands in the end so it's great because it gives people an opportunity who can't get to the show to have a little look and see what it's all about can you tell us uh, what's in store this year at all I can tell you, I can tell you exactly what's in store, but I'd have to kill you so that you couldn't tell anybody. Um, no, we, we do know what's, what's happening this year. It has been decided, but it's, at this moment in time, it's a closely guarded secret. There's a bit of exclusive news for 2020. Uh, what's that, Ian? Well, between you and me, Brian, as long as this doesn't go anywhere else, um, in, in 2020 there will be the LVT challenge, we're going to introduce um, a year where it's LVT being done, uh, we're hoping that um, we're not doing away with carpet fitter of the year, we're going to alternate it so that it's um, LVT challenge one year, carpet the next and just keep it interesting and to open the competition up to more people because we've had an awful lot of guys who fit LVT who said well there's nothing for us out there so so you know we'll, that's the idea behind it we'll bring them in and, and get them in, in some sort of in the competition as it's become established now. How's that going to work Ian? Is it going to be called LVT Fit of the Year? <laughs> well we've uh, we've argued over the name of it it'll all be it'll still come under the banner of uh, a floor layer of the year if you like but it will it will actually be the LVT challenge or or words to that effect we haven't totally decided on on the actual small print a small uh, lettering for it so uh, we'll just we'll argue over that another day what interest do you think it's going to get because uh, I've been asked quite a few times is are you introducing other products into the competition well I've been asked as well and people have said you know about introducing other products in as well as what's already in there and guys who are old enough to remember the old competitions will know it got past the point of being manageable there were so many things involved it, and, and to judge it it's not easy when you've got all those different um, disciplines trying to judge them as well so, um, you know, what, what we do is keep it as carpet one year, LVT the next, and, and just to, to keep it simple. But, um, yeah, people all the time come up to me and, and say, why don't you do this and why don't you do that? And um, we do try and do it, but we, you know, our sponsors are good to us, but we can't 
you know, go to them and ask for unlimited amounts of money all the time because it does cost money. That's what people don't realise. To put it on costs money. To build the stands costs money. And we, we try and make it interesting, as mentioned earlier, by changing the platforms that the guys do stuff on. Well, don't worry, Ian, we'll live to see you a little longer any further. Oh, great. Thanks for that, Brian. But thanks very much for speaking to us, Ian, and good luck with it. You're welcome, and hopefully I'll see anyone in, uh, in the, in the semi-finals. Good luck with that. Cheers. Cheers, mate.